guys, it's Avery. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I don't really know what we're doing, but we are going to get glam. So yeah, but uh, you should stay tuned for that. I also like, I don't know if I look like five years old or if I look like okay with this hair, but we're just going to keep rolling with it. Um, I already did my eyebrows and primed my lids with some Tarte Shape Teeth Concealer. Didn't set it, but um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So what? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you have any requests. That's what I have to say. So without further ado, let's get on to this video. I'm going to start with primer and then move to eyeshadow so it can set. So first I'm going to take my Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I'm just going to apply this like on my cheek area and not really around my T-zone. Because I'm feeling dry but I'm also feeling greasy. I don't know. Okay, then I'm going to take my One Heck of a Blot Primer from Soap and Glory. And I'm just going to take a little bit and apply it around my nose and in my T-zone. Okay, and then just to finish that off, I'm going to use my Mario Badescu Skin Care Spray infused with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm ready to work with some color today. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take my Thirsty palette and dip into the shade Submerge. And I am going to apply this into my crease and blend it up pretty high. Okay, so we are looking cute and blended. I'm now going to take my Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and take this shade Zobo. And we are going to take this shade a little bit lower in the crease. Okay, then I'm going to take this shade and pack it on to the outer corner. I'm just going to take a little bit on the lid, but this is not really important since we're going to cut the crease. Then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend these shades together. Okay, that looks pretty good to me now. I may need to add more color in later, but we're going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to do a half cut crease, so... Okay, I'm just gonna like blend the edges out with my finger and then go back into Zobo that entire shade right there. Just that onto my lap. Then I'm gonna go back into the Zobo shade and I'm just going to blend that with the outer edges. Okay, and then back into Submerge. And I'm going to pack this onto the lid. I'm also going to take the blue and add more color up top. And then back into the purple. Again, we're just going back and forth. Then I'm going to take this smaller pointed brush and again in that purple. And I'm just going to create a border around the cut crease so you can really see that blue. I kind of like the border that's like around the cut crease so I'm not really going to blend that out just more the outer corner. I'm not completely finished with the eyes, so we're gonna just come back to it and start with our face. First things I'm gonna take is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm just going to blend this into my face using my damp beauty sponge. Then I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and apply that. And I'm going to just blend this out once more. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and just set where I put that concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the eyes and just finish them right now. I'm gonna take Zobo, and I'm gonna apply her just like halfway, well, three fourths quarter of the way under my eyes and just kind of blend it with the top there. Oh, okay, guess what shade we're going in now? If you guess Submerge, you were right. Ah, we're just gonna kind of connect this outer part right here underneath the lower lash line and really smoke it out. We're finally going to use a different shade. Um, we're going to take this shade Divine from the Thirsty Palette and take this on like the inner part of our lower lash line. Now I could do something really risky and apply this shade right there and you know what I'm going to do? Just that. I kind of like this. Um, I don't know if I want to do a wing and mess it up or not. I'm going to do a really thin line just 
on my lashes here. Love when I say thin line and it turns into this, but um, it's fine because we're gonna cover it. We're going to cover this with lashes, so I'll be right back and do that. <laughs> did that rhyme? Not really, but kind of. Okay, so I did that and then I applied some eyeliner in my waterline and tight line. So now I'm going to apply my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the old packaging, but I'm pretty sure it's the same formula. So whatever, it works, you know? Now I'm going to apply this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush, and this is in the shade Mellow Wine. Oh my god. Okay, and then for highlighter, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Highlight in the shade Precious Petals. Wet n Wild literally kills it with their blush and highlight. I can't. I can't right now. It looks so good. Get that nose highlight and get it hopping, B. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to finish off this look with this Buxom. It's like a... I don't know. <laughs> this is like a kind of shiny liquid lipstick. This formula, though, is so good. And this is in the shade Honeydew. Mmm, girl, this is not my shade. No, we're going to change this color. Okay, we're going to try the shade Amuse Me. Okay, so this is a little bright, too, but I don't hate it with this look, so... We're gonna go with this. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you have any requests. That's what I have to say. So hope you guys have a great, wonderful day or night wherever you are. And yeah, bye.